Hey folks, welcome in. Good to see you guys. Welcome into your Farm Sim Weekend Update, the weekly show where we go over all the new news, the new updates, and all the new mods for Farming Simulator 19 as well, of course, as Farming Sim 22. So we are about a week out from FarmCon 21 where we got all the new info on Farming Simulator 22. Our first look, we got a bunch of new updates, some new news. Of course, if you guys missed anything related to FarmCon, we've got lots of videos on that. Go check out one of their videos. Lots of new news, new updates on Farming Simulator 22. This last week, not much new to talk about there. Giants did release some blog posts throughout the week on, well, pretty much everything they talked about on FarmCon. There wasn't anything really new that was posted along with it, for the most part. There are several blog posts put out, each of them kind of detailing kind of the certain features that they, they talked about during FarmCon, uh, along with a snipped up video from FarmCon that kind of goes along with it. So there's no real new info posted this week about Farming Simulator 22. They just well, kind of summed it up a little bit nicer throughout the week. So you got some some new stuff to look at. Really, the, the biggest news were, well, a couple of new screenshots that we hadn't previously seen. Always good to see these and overanalyze them as we all like to do. But guys, I, I digress. You know what? Not Nothing really to talk about Farm Sim 22, unfortunately, this week. Hopefully, the next couple of weeks, we'll slowly start ramping things up and we'll be uh, diving more into that. So, of course, make sure you guys go down below. Hit that big red subscribe button if you haven't done so already, because you're not going to want to miss anything Farm Sim 22 related that we're going to be talking about here in the next couple of weeks. So nothing to talk about for Farm Sim 22. What can we talk about for Farm Sim 19? Hmm. Yeah. We got some stuff. We got, we got some things. <laughs> no, no, in all honesty, we do have a few things, but not really a lot going on in Farm Sim 19 this week either. We did have a full week worth of mods that came out. It was pretty quiet though. Nothing that's really changing what Farming Simulator 19 is. We'll dive in, we'll take a quick look and see what we've got. And what we have, well, mostly updates. Really, that's what we got are pretty much updates. We've got updates to the man 3, uh, 3314 pack. This one's here by Black Sheep Modding. A great hook lift truck, been updated. The Case Axial Flow 250 series by JHHG, updated as well. <laughs> the Kong Slide GTX 13005, updated as well. All these mods that I really do appreciate have been updated. Unfortunately, just not a lot of new things. I mean, we keep on going down the list. Additional game settings has an update. We've got an update to the JCB Agri Load All. The John Deere 70 20 70 30 series got an update. The Lizard T-Rex 600 has an update. Oh boy, guys, everything that we want to talk about is just updates. So. Make sure you go through your mod list, find out what you like, take a look at the updates, go get the updates. There's a lot of updates out there, but nothing really new this week for us to really dive into, unfortunately. So let's take a look at the testing list, which unfortunately is pretty much the same, guys. We have, what, nine mods, it looks like, on the list right now? Not a lot to talk about here. In fact, it's pretty sparse. Not a lot of mods that look like they're being waited to be tested before the weekend. We'll see what happens next week, but the testing crew has been keeping up with the mods this last, this last week now. After FarmCon, we've actually been able to push out. It looks like the, all the mods have come on the list that are available. They've been all pushed out. So not much is being pushed out right now as far as new mods and not new mods are being expected. So what's going on? Well, of course, there's an easy answer for this. Farm Sim 22 has been announced. There has been some talk about a lot of modders starting to hold back mods now that, well, maybe were originally planned to be released and maybe are now sitting back and waiting for Farming Simulator 22 and will release then. That would make sense, of course. Also, we have been in a three-year cycle now. It's three years since, almost since Farm Sim 19 was released. It makes sense that we're not seeing too many mods. All the big mods that we've been all waiting for, for the life of Farm Sim 19 have pretty much been released. There's still odds and ends here and there on things that maybe we didn't think about, the, the specialty mods that people are, com are coming up with that are being released. But for the most part, there's not a lot out there that hasn't been done. Now, guys, I say all this. If you are a new modder, if you're a new modder watching this right now, this right here is the perfect time for you to start building some mods and trying to release them on the mod hub. Now, I don't want to say Polish three meter cultivators, please. But if you make some mods, if you have an original idea for something, something small, doesn't have to be anything crazy. Right now is the perfect time I'll have to try your skills and see if you can get something released on the mod hub. If this is something you're interested in, because right now the testing list, there's nothing on it for the most part. And it's a great time for you to try your hand at getting mods released on the mod hub. Number one, if something happens and it fails, well, Giants is going to send it back to you right away. There's no wait list. There's nothing going on every single day. They're going to be testing stuff. If it doesn't pass, hey, here's your mod back. Fix this. 
And then if it does pass, well, guess what? It's in the mod hub and it's been released. There's no downside right now to doing this. Test your skills, get out there, put some stuff out. There's nothing to lose. Believe me, this is the best time to be doing this stuff because once Farm Sim 22 releases, once we get down to that date and you're trying to release on Farming Sim 22, if you're new, you're going to get lost in the shuffle a little bit for sure. And there's just going to be a lot more mods that are being tested daily. And it's going to be a lot more difficult for you to well, have to wait for your mod to potentially pass or fail. Do it right now. Test it. Get it out there. I would love to see new modders come out to the space and see if they can get their mods into the mod hub. Now, as far as new mods that, well, we're looking forward to that should be still coming out, guys. We've got the Pattison PLS 5510 by Custom Modding, Liquid Cart. This is, well, almost done. They've got modeling, UV mapping, texturing, Giants editor work has been done, XML, and the internal testing has all been done. Only thing that left is, well, mod hub testing. So that should be relatively soon. We should see that on the testing list, but looking forward to seeing this. AW Modding also posted some new pictures on the MF294C series tractor. Massey Ferguson, well, the tract Massey Ferguson tractor, the old school little Massey Ferguson. I uh, had some help with Black Sheep Modding. Got some 3D tracks put on it now, and it looks fantastic. I absolutely love the look of this. Hopefully we'll see this Massey Ferguson pack somewhat soon. This is uh, an update from the FS17 Massey Ferguson pack. So we'll see this hopefully soon. AW looks good. And in case you missed it, last night we had our first look at MRG's Lincoln Creek, Nebraska. Brand new map by him. Make sure you guys go check out that. We'll have more on that map very soon. Lastly, this week, guys, we got, well, a first look at Arrow Rock 16X. Now, this map is being done by Homey or Home PC. Guys, this is, well, a 16X map. So you know it's going to be PC only, of course. Offsite, not in the mod hub. Guys, this has 208 fields. Yeah, so there's just a few fields on this map. Guys, this is based on an area of Arrow Rock, Missouri. It's actually pretty lifelike as far as, well, one-to-one -one scale of what the area looks like. It is a 16X map. You got the room to do that on this one. But like I said, 208 fields. Now on the far eastern side of this map, you're gonna find we've got more of a flatland, open field area. Now the northeastern side of the map is, well, a forestry reserve area which is kind of just, well, a lot of logging if you really want to go that way, it looks like. Not sure on how government officials would feel about that, but the western side is all custom farmlands all the way north to south. All these custom farmlands that are definitely not square in any way, shape, or form. Uh, the town of Arrow Rock is dead center of the map. Now, there is still work that needs to happen in the map. A lot of the farms are set up, but there's still some that need to be set up, some of the cell points. Just some different stuff needs to happen here. Some final details need to be added in, but most of the farmlands are, are done the map is playable as is right now it's just some final details need to happen so in the next few weeks we should have a lot more information on this we do a review on this map at some point here in the near future so stay tuned for that so folks there you have it that is your well weekend update farm sim weekend update hope you guys enjoyed today's video hopefully we got some more information next week we'll see hopefully next week we get some more mods some new updates to talk about not much going on right now of course in farm sim 19 as we discussed so hopefully by then We'll see something new. Of course, like I said, if you're a new modder, new modders, test your stuff out now. See if you can get it in the mod hub. I would love to see you guys test that. See if you can find some new stuff to come out. If you got an idea, please, I'd love to hear more about it. But with all that being said, folks, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, drop a like. Of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. And I will check you guys next week. Have a good week, guys. This is Clutch. Over and out.